I've got a wedding in April. I'm not excited about going to Melbourne for. Yeah. Uh, we've got to start the meeting. Um, welcome everyone. I declare the uh, special meeting open. Um, apologies and leave of absence. We've got the whole committee here, plus a few others. Um, so I, uh, we don't need um, to co-opt any uh, committee member. Any pecuniary or conflicts of interest? Chairman, could I, could I just ask, are we waiting for the video uh, to be we've, set? We've been told that it's okay. It's mm -hmm. yeah. um, so, um, no pecuniary and conflicts of interest. Transfer of agenda items. Being no transfer of agenda items. Uh, the uh, only item we have is the report about um, the success of getting extra grant funding. Uh, I think it was a $1.2 million extra grant funding from the Feds, which is wonderful news. And perhaps um, I open the item and I'll start off by asking the, the Director to make some comments. Um, thanks, Chairman. The report uh, addresses two issues. Firstly, uh, a previously approved project, that being the uh, intercity cycleway extension and the um, second round of funding, as you've alluded to. Uh, just to remove any confusion with regard to the cycleway extension, if I, if I could perhaps remind Council that the earlier approval was for the extension of the cycleway from McVillie Drive through to and including the upgrade of the Regatta Ground car park and then moving on to the boundary of Macquarie Point. Uh, and as you recall, Macquarie Point had a temporary cycleway through uh, their property onto Evans Street. As the report indicates, um, the Macquarie Point Development Corporation has uh, progressed its development uh, and um, has no longer, is no longer able to provide that connection through to Evans Street, at least in the short term. Uh, now there is the option of uh, a, an interim connection onto a roadway that the authority or the corporation has built, but that road will also be subject to a number of uh, builders uh, uh, vehicles and, and lots of construction activity and is likely to be open and closed uh, yep. with some frequency. So what we are proposing now is to amend that earlier approved project, still extend the cycle away from McVillie Drive, still upgrade the uh, Regatta Ground car park, but instead of taking the cycle away from the upgraded car park through to the Macquarie Point boundary, uh, we uh, instead run the connection across the top of the regatta ground running parallel with Tasman Highway underneath the Bridge of Remembrance. Um, so the, the, the extension of the cycleway is still there but not connected to Macquarie Point as was originally proposed uh, and obviously with the other infrastructure in place we can come back and do the connection from the upgraded car park through to Macquarie Point when they have finished uh, their redevelopment and have provided the thoroughfare. The second element of the report uh, provides information on the um, allocation of $1.89 million, which is the second round of the Australian Government's Local Roads and Community Infrastructure Program, and three projects are listed there uh, to which that funding has been allocated. Good, thank you. And obviously I got it incorrect when I said $1.2 million. It's actually nearly $1.9 million extra funding. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, Deputy. Chairman, I'm, I'll move the, the recommendation um, and, and presumably uh, through you to the director the, those concerns raised by the bike, bicycle network about that connection down uh, will be taken on board. Chairman, absolutely. Uh, as the report indicates, there are three concerns. Um, two of them, I think, are eminently fixable and that is uh, addressing the blind corner and also um, providing some delineation across the new road. The third concern is uh, an, a services pole which is in the centre of the existing cycleway just outside the engineers building. Now that's been there a long time uh, and I'm very happy to explore the relocation of that pole although I, I'm assuming it's going to be problematic and likely expensive. So of the three issues that's the most difficult one for us to address but we now have them, well, subject to your approval tonight, we'd have them on our to-do list to see how they can be addressed. Yeah. I, I've also had um, uh, discussions with, with uh, Ms Hetherington from the Bicycle Network just in relation to that area um, near, near the engineer's building because um, it, there's a lot of bitumen and uh, not much um, direction or, or easy, easy direction um, 
uh, across that. So you know whether whether that's work, that's other work in progress um, for for the future. Um, Director, do we know uh, when the Macquarie Point will start working on the proposed cycleway? You know the permanent cycleway through the Macquarie Point. Look, Chairman, the short answer is is no. Um, but we are aware that the stage one of the, uh, of the site's redevelopment, which is the area between the new road and, and the cenotaph, the escarpment area, I think is expressions of interest are out for that at the moment and, and that'll take its course through this calendar year. I, I think it's probably another two to three years or longer before the open space within Macquarie Point is developed and, and there is that permanent cycleway connection from their regatta ground boundary through to Evans Street. Yeah. So we could, we could still continue uh, putting pressure on it that is a, because it, it is a significant uh, safe route into the waterfront. So in your discussions, obviously I don't think it should be part of this uh, motion, but uh, keep the pressure on there because I think uh, it was very useful, the temporary cycle path through that site. Yeah. Just briefly, I would say I think with the extension from McVilly Drive through to an upgraded car park at the regatta ground will in itself uh, build that pressure as well. Good, thank you. Any further, uh, Lord Mayor? Thank you, uh, Chair. I'm just wondering about um, the costings because the message I got very strongly was that the real danger points are, yeah, the blind corner and the... Um, there's, all, there's two sort of spots to cross, aren't there? There's the, there's, once you get to the entrance to Macquarie Point, there's, at the moment, the, the route sort of goes around a funny hook, um, whereas the, I think they're proposing that there's sort of a straight through and even sort of um, a foot, um, wombat style crossing, not wombat, so like raised crossings for the, for the cycleway to continue straight ahead. Is that what's planned or are we just really focused on the the pathway to just under the bridge and then pretty much leave everything else to the to the Macquarie Point folks because I, I noticed in the report 4.7 it says that the blind corner will be undertaken as a component of the project to provide pedestrian access from the Tasman Highway to the regatta grounds um, this will be undertaken by the Macquarie Point Development Corporation so it won't actually be part of this project is that Jim, and that's certainly our understanding. There's some work to do on that corner and there is the access that the Macquarie Point people will be building over their property to the Cenotaph Frigata Ground area. Now, we, we certainly want to do it in consultation with them if we can't, I guess, encourage them to do it. Uh, how the, the safest way across their new access road, I think, needs to be negotiated. Uh, whether that's uh, some sort of crossing and exactly where that is needs to be looked at. At the moment there is a series of yellow bollards uh, that prevents vehicles accessing the road. And so uh, those, that's certainly Macquarie Point Corporation responsibility. And as I said, the relocation of the services pole is something we need to look at. Any further comments by committee? Because we have got another, there is another committee after this one. So we, just with 4.7 though, we don't know when they'll address the blind corner. At Look, Chairman. We it, have to wait and see. What I would say, Lord Mayor, is subject to your approval tonight, um, we need to do planning uh, and obviously the construction of that uh, revised route across the top under the Bridge of Remembrance. Now, as a part of doing that, we'd certainly be wanting to make sure that the remainder of the pathway into the city uh, is as safe as it can be, so it would be a priority for us. Uh, any Thanks, committee Chair. members would like to make comment? Okay, no comment. I, I think we should congratulate the Federal Government for, or, and the Hobart City Council officers for winning uh, this uh, new round of grants, one point, not nearly $1.9 million on top of um, over a million dollars earlier. So we've got, uh, so there's significant funds flying in from the stimulus package um, and uh, shovel-ready projects, for shovel-ready projects, or will be. Um, so I intend to put the uh, motion, um, it was moved by the deputy. Those in favour say aye. Aye. Those against say no. The ayes have it unanimously. Thank you very much, meeting closed.